Hey everyone, uh, can you all hear me? I'm just going to fix this screen a little bit. Bear with me. Okay. <clears throat> awesome. Well, thank you all for uh, attending. Um, and yeah, basically, uh, with this video, I just wanted to kind of introduce what the beginners course will be all about. Um, and like I said, this is a live Q and a, so feel free to ask any questions you have about the course, about the program. I'm happy to answer all of them. Hi everyone. Hi, hi, hi. I would say all of your names, but <laughs> that would take too long. So uh, yeah, go ahead, ask any questions that you have before I maybe start explaining uh, a lot of the things that I have here in the, in the course. Will the course stay on the site? Yes. So um, the course will be um, a, uh, a fixed part of the program. So you have the ArtWatt program and normally it's the weekly cycles with all the assignments, but we see a lot of people, especially beginners struggle kind of getting into the program, right? Which is completely normal, uh, especially if you sh just start out. So what I did with this course, it will be a segue into the program. So it will be a fixed, you will see it on the dashboard. So if I go to the dashboard for a second, you will see this pop up in a second. There we go. So if you will, if you go down the dashboard, you will see the beginners course will be here and it will be a free part of the program. So it will be completely free. Well, it will be a part of the program. Uh, the only prerequisite is you will not be able to use it in the trial period just because we are providing the service that you can upload an assignment um, and you can upload it for approval so you need to be an active member uh, in order to be able to do that release date we are hoping to release next week actually so um we're pretty much wrapped up with the entire course. Um, I think I'll need to redo the introduction a little bit just to um, give a little bit more explanation of how you can do it. But uh, other than that, it's completely done. I think we only, the developers are still working on a little bit of the UI implica implication um, or implementation, but I think that's about it. Did you make this course with love? I, I made it with a lot of love, uh, Ragnos. Absolutely. It was a lot of fun to make as well. It was even, um, the, th the, the funny thing about it is that if you go really back to fundamentals, it's still, um, it, it, can, it can still be very challenging to do it, especially explaining it. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, give us a quick rundown. All right, I'm just going through the questions, guys. Just uh, bear with me. Um, all right, give us a quick rundown. Yes, I will give you guys a quick rundown. And yes, I do look tired. I know I've been working hard on it. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. Uh, I'll be streaming with Proco soon, so I need to. I'm, I'm, I might need to do some makeup. Uh, so as you can see here, we have the. Once you go on the dashboard and you'll you, you go to the the beginners course, you will be presented with this, and you'll see we'll have the introduction, and we basically have four modules. Right? So in these modules, they have the same setup of the ArtWatt program. What does that mean? Is we go through figure, hard surface, and organic, as we do with the program. Now, the thing is, though, we, of course, first are going to do perspective, right? A lot of perspective. Um, and so as you'll see in the lessons, you'll be going to one point, two point cylinders, how they work, three point perspective, and then also perspective versus lenses, which is something that's often overlooked. 
um, because it's it's really beneficial for scene building. So all of this is based to make you spatially aware, right? So all of this is, is based around really getting a good spatial awareness. And then from there, we're going to go into, you know, what I talk about a lot is the shape manipulation. So figures, how do we make them, you know, the, the, the simplification of figures, mannequinization, structuralization, and then how can we manipulate them to get better at designing them in space? All of this is going to be to make you spatially aware. Again, it's a, it's a beginner's course, and it's one that I've built to help you become a better designer and a better thinker, design thinker. And it's going to serve, as I said, like a segue into the ArtWatt program so that once you've done this, I'm like, I'm super confident that you can just pick up the ArtWatt program and just, you know, keep doing that and improving as you go along. And so from figure, we go into hard surface. And with hard surface, there's a lot of shape manipulation, right? Rounding, single rounding, multiple rounding, addition, subtraction, form wrapping, all of the good stuff. And then organic, again, a lot of the contour manipulation, just understanding organic forms. And then we do like an amalgamation of everything where we make like a final test of the course. Well, it will be your final submission of the course, and then you will uh, be able to complete it. Now, the way it's set up is that you just you cannot speed run this course, right? So in order to do it, you have to take any lesson, right? For instance, you go to the doesn't matter which lesson, but you, you, you go to a lesson. You, of course, start with lesson one. You watch the lesson. You watch the assignments. Um, there will be a handout section here as well, where you will see the uh, a handout PDF handout of the assignment. And then you will need to do the assignment and you can upload that assignment to us. So the the assignment will be um, sent to our community support member, Axel, and he will review your submission and approve it. If it's approved, that means it's good enough. If it's not approved, you will get a little bit of feedback from Axel um, saying what you can do better to complete uh, the assignment. Right. So that's the basic gist of it. All right. So will the course have exercises in between lessons? Like I said, yes, it will be a lot of, there will be assignments for every lesson. So you need to be, you will need to complete uh, an assignment specific to every lesson. You will need to hand it in uh, for approval. What is the eligibility criteria? Um, I mean, how much must I have to know before I can join the course? Well, that's the thing here, um, Ankit. It's that you don't really need to know a lot about drawing. Um, I would say almost, almost nothing. Maybe just a little, little bit about drawing, right? You need to be interested in the concept of concept art. Uh, but other than that, like I will run you through this for like from from scratch right perspective 101 getting spatially aware shape manipulation all the good stuff to make you just yep, start just to make you start drawing to make you enjoy drawing um you will definitely get frustrated from doing a lot of these assignments but you will definitely improve doing so um will the reference material be available for download Ah, that's a great question. So will the reference material be available for download, brushes, reference, etc.? You will be able to download handouts for the assignments per lesson. Um, and you will be uh, able to download references, right? So there will be references in the handout if there are, um, or they will be separate for you to download. Now, there aren't any brushes. The reason that there aren't any brushes is because the main criteria for this course and uh, see my smile, uh, you will only be able to do this course traditionally. So we will not accept any digital submissions of any kind. Uh, the reason I do this is because I want to have everyone start on an even playing field. And even though like, there's not really a difference between learning traditionally and learning digitally, there are ways to cheat, quote unquote, in the digital media, especially these beginner assignments. So I will only 
have you do them traditionally for your own benefit, right? It doesn't have to be like straight into FineLiner. I do a lot of the videos straight into FineLiner. You don't have to do that, but you will have to use traditional media. So pencil, crayon, um, charcoal, FineLiner, inks, pencil, whatever you like. Okay, I'm just gonna... Is it possible to take your course while having a day job? Very much so, Ammon, very much so. Will there be any teaching about muscles? No, Sist, because anatomy is something that you teach um, continuously and there's no anatomy in this course. Anatomy, I feel, is a little bit more advanced. Getting spatially aware, knowing about shape manipulation is a lot, in my opinion, is a lot more beginner friendly then going straight into anatomy, because if you, if you think about anatomy, especially in space, if you want to design characters from imagination, anatomy is basically manipulated shapes in space. So we do that in the ArtWatt program, in the figure assignments, in the figure cycles. We do anatomy exercises, so it's not going to be a part of this course. Will you have a similar program for painting? Maybe in the future. Um, one of the exciting things, though, is that I am talking with Tyler Edlin, and he will be providing a course in the near future as well. So that's something to very much look forward to. How many hours do how many hours do you think we should commit a day to the course? The, the, the course is made to be flexible, so it, it, it depends entirely on your schedule. Um, the lessons are there, they are, they are there permanently. So just what I advise you to do is like when you watch a lesson, really watch it and try to do the assignments immediately after because then it's fresh in your memory. And if you only do one lesson, then you only do one lesson, right? Um, and if you, if you need like three days to do a lesson, that's completely fine. But just focus on that one. Um, and it will depend on your schedule if you can complete it, you know, fast or, or not. But again, the thing is like, the if you need to do it traditionally, there's no way of r really rushing it, right? You need, you really need to put focus into it and your attention. So just take your time with it. Where can I join the course? Once you've become a member of the ArtWatt program, either a drawing uh, art lead or a full art lead, you will have access to the course. What is the pacing for this course or recommended pacing to take for this course? Again, just I just explained that. Um, depends on your schedule. No brushes. <laughs> Scam. Are you planning on a beginner's painting course? Again, maybe in the future. Are we able to use pencil and erase? Of course. Yeah, yeah. Like you can do it any way you like, but you just need to do it traditionally. Like the, the thing is, so like if you do something traditionally, you will you will notice that you have more focus on what you're doing um, and you will be like erasing. You, you're not tended to erase as much as you tap undo, right? So that's completely fine. How long would this class take on average? That's a really good question. And Again, like the answer is, I don't know, right? It, it really depends on your skill level, but I would be very impressed if anyone completes this um, in less than a month, a month and a half, uh, because just because of the lessons that you need to go through and like it's made for a beginner. If any professional here that is watching or super experienced um, want to speed run through it, I mean, be my guest, but for beginners, it, it probably will take uh, quite a long time. 
Can we do this at the same time as the regular art wad? Yes, you can. You can definitely combine it if you want to. Off topic, but what is the wad in art wad? Well, we have two uh, variations, Malcolm. It's uh, either art with Oreos is delicious or art workout of the day. You pick yours. So I'm trying to start learning art fundamentals and I'm not sure where to start and how to properly start practicing art wad. Well, again, Momo, that's why we have the beginner's course. This will really help you segue into our programming. What is more important when making a routine, I guess? Uh, Sergio, what is more important when making a routine? I guess like just having a routine in your schedule. I would say just promise yourself to do something every day and stick to it. That's the most important thing. It's not about how much you can do or how many hours you can do. Right? You hear a lot of us talking about spending 10 hours a day drawing. If that doesn't fit your schedule, like when I was still working full time, I just, you know, I promised myself to work or to ac practice drawing during my lunch break for like half an hour at least. And then a couple of hours after work. And if I couldn't do it, I would always promise myself to do at least 15 minutes of something. And that usually helps. So basically, it's included in the ArtWatt membership, no extra cost. That's exactly right. What's the difference between the lessons on the beginner's course versus similar lessons on the classroom sessions? The classroom sessions are a little bit more in depth and they usually combine a lot of different principles and they are usually specific to the art wad assignment cycles. So if we, for instance, on a, a, an assignment cycle, we have a figure cycle on quick sketch, I might do a or I have a classroom on quick sketch. This isn't really a beginner friendly thing. Um, it's more about how you can approach these things to get better um, at the specific things that I'm teaching or giving you for these cycles. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to see Kim Young Ji speed run it. Will this class help with line confidence? I think definitely, yes. Because once you become a little bit more comf comfortable with drawing things in space and having that spatial awareness and also doing it traditionally, you will have the confidence to put down lines a lot more confident, right? <laughs> it's, a, it's a bad phrase, but you will be more confident when putting down lines because you have that spatial awareness. Will I be able to competently draw if I complete this course, say in a month? You will be you will be able to draw a lot better than when you started. Um, and it depends on how you how you completed the assignments, right? So if you if you get through it and all of your assignments have been approved, that means you've done a great job. Um, and that usually will help boost your spatial awareness, confidence and shape manipulation, which is a really big one in this course a lot. And I feel like that translates to anything you do whether it's you know, drawing from imagination or even painting from imagination. Now, of course, there's a lot more advanced things like shading, um, you know, design, um, anatomy, things like uh, that that I've discussed. But these are things that you will learn throughout the art wad cycles, right? That's why I made art wad in the first place. It's an intermediate friendly uh, platform or for beginner experienced beginners. Uh, and so from there, you can continue on into the program. How much hard work should I do for this field? Depends on where you want to get, right? Um, if you want to get at the top, just in any field, you have to work really hard. 
uh, if you if you just want to coast along um, you don't maybe you don't have to work that hard so my question is what will you be teaching in the figure section for the beginner course ah so in the figure course what I mainly will be teaching is the it will build upon the perspective module and you will learn about figure simplification you will learn to make your own reference sheet which is very important uh, you will learn about figures in perspective and how we can use already use shape manipulation to create more interesting figures like dynamic figures and then we're going to do like a, a little test where we do scene building um, and the scene building is going to be based on what you've learned from lesson five in the first module um, and how you can better tell a story with just mannequins, right? And if you can do it with simple mannequins, it will be a lot easier for all of you that want to get to, into illustration um, to then build detail on top of that. Cool lighting, cool whatever, um, armor, clothing, all of that. You know, and when you get the basics right, that's the, that's the important thing. Can I ask about the general direction of the community and program? Is the advanced part suited for all art fields, especially asking for illustrations for children, which is rarely covered in courses? Anything like it doesn't matter, like whether it's illustration for children or it's illustration for AAA games, the fundamentals stay the same almost. Now the, the community and ArtWatt program itself is based, I would say, in my opinion, as a creator, it it's primarily geared towards people who want to do things from imagination, because when you create a good sense of spatial awareness and like the six steps that I talk about in the Proco video, um, it's it, it's like this fundamental skill to be able to quickly generate ideas. And when you think about generating ideas, it's more of a design profession right concept artists uh storyboarders um people in the like the pre-production of things so that's i feel like that's the gist of art what primarily we also cover a lot of you know painting and how to increase your brush economy how to get better at material indication um, so it's definitely also good for illustration but again like the main focus of my program is to help people who want to draw or paint from imagination. Is this traditional? Yeah, like I said, you have to do all the assignments traditionally. Do you have fundamental tutorials on Gumroad? I have a figure bundle for Artwatt on Gumroad. Yes. But it's not like super fundamental like this uh, beginner course is a lot more fundamental than what I give on the on the on the Gumroad pack. Which skills are we going to acquire after doing this course? Again, I I told this a lot. I feel like spatial awareness and shape manipulation, especially, um, and getting really confident with how you make things from imagination. Off topic, but since you mentioned that there won't be a beginner course for painting, can you mention some good resources? Even with the watts, I find it a little hard. Well, I wouldn't say like at the moment, I'm not planning on doing a beginner's course and Ahmed Alduri just released his painting course and I had access to it and it's absolutely amazing. So I feel like that's a really good place to start when it comes to painting. For people at the intermediary level and with limited time, would it be beneficial to go through this course for more fundamental practice? Yes, absolutely. I've done this a lot in my day as well. Um, I, I, I think like I've never really bought like an advanced tutorial ever. Um, I, I basically almost always just bought um, when I was developing, just bought fundamental tutorials because I feel like if you if you master fundamentals, that's all you need. The rest is just figuring it out yourself, usually. How much time does it take to get a lesson approved? 
that will that will highly depend on the amount of people submitting their assignments and you know if they are you know if a lot of you submit good assignments it's easier for axel to approve them right if he needs to give a lot of feedback of course we're still like a two-man army at at the moment so if we if we see like a huge influx of people i i will definitely you know appoint an an extra community support member to help us does this course cover anything on negative space and lighting shadows uh no mateo because that's m a little bit more advanced like this course is like it's really beginner beginner friendly negative space that's more about design lighting and shadow that's something we cover in the art watch cycles this is really based on spatial awareness can we pay with american currency um boo right now we we the the website is in euros and we accept euros and there's probably a, an exchange uh thing when you when you pay um but we don't really offer any other currency directly Um, Antonio, since it will be traditional only, could you tell us what we'll need for the course? I have a little bit of a material list, but again, it's just anything traditional goes. Like, really anything. Um, like, all I, all, all I want you guys to do is to just draw on paper. Uh, and recycled paper, <laughs> preferably. Um, but nothing really specific. I do the entire course with fine liner, but again, it's up to you. Do you think it's better to look for techniques for each job or better to focus on your own technique and find the appropriate study for you? It's just better to focus on principles first. Just get the fundamentals down and then you can branch out into anything specific. Um, I think a big misconception is that when people hear that they need to be specialists, that doesn't mean that you, your training should be um specific like your training should be general and your portfolio or the industry that you're aiming for should be specific all right some final questions and i'm going to wrap it up guys I tried modern day James Gumroad videos and I learned a lot, but they also overwhelmed me a little bit. How high is the difficulty compared to his work? I haven't seen a lot of um, modern day James tutorials on Gumroad, um, but I've seen his YouTube videos and they are pretty beginner friendly. Though I feel like this course um, goes maybe a little bit more to the rudimentary things of just spatial awareness. But again, like I don't know all of uh, James's tutorials and I know like from his YouTube, YouTube videos, he's pretty good at explaining things. So I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to tell. Would you be able to tackle any of the books in the recommended resource after taking this course as a beginner? Yes, it would be a good thing. All right, so yeah, last question is pretty similar. I feel like I've already explained that, Gabby, so you'll be able to review that in the video. All right, I think I'm gonna wrap it up at um, here, guys. I feel like I've explained most of the things about the course um, and then some, so I hope it was useful. Thank you all for attending.
And uh, yeah, well, I'll I'll let you know. Uh, you know, if you if you just subscribe to our mailing list, I will definitely let you know when uh when this drops. Hopefully, normally next week. Like it should be next week. So uh, I will update you guys. And uh, thank you very much for attending. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.